Today we're going to be focusing on the Di Tommaso P72 hypercar, which is an amazing looking car from Di Tommaso Automobiles and it performs equally as well. And I think this is my favorite car in the entire world just because it looks good and it performs good. And it has a price tag of about $800,000. Uh, towards the end of the, uh, of the back together with... This thing has a Roush Supercharged uh, Coyote V8, which is a Ford engine, and I love Ford, so that's a pretty cool feature. It has these amazing looking rims, and it has a top speed of 221 miles per hour, and uh, the concept had the same engine as the Apollo IE. It was a naturally aspirated V12, but this one, like I said, has a supercharged V8. And also, this thing can rev up to 7,500 RPMs, and it has the top-mounted exhaust, which is pretty cool. And also, this thing has about 700 horsepower and 600 pound-feet of torque. And the engine bay, which reminds me of the McLaren F1, because it's coated in gold, so that's kind of cool. And then you have this absolutely amazing-looking um, flow leather carbon fiber interior. Reminds me of the uh, Pagani Wire. Just so much attention to detail. Best-looking interior in the world, in my opinion. And the predecessor to this car actually was the Di Tommaso P70, so that's kind of interesting. But this thing has rear wheel drive, only 72 made. Uh, its nickname was Project P, and the most popular colors were Soul Red and Baby Blue, but there were a couple other colors. And fun fact, Di Tommaso was founded in 1959 in Modena, Italy, which is the same place where Ferrari was founded, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> But just all the small details, like the gold suspension, just really make this car what it is. And just, I love how much effort they put into these. And this was actually Di Tommaso's 60th year anniversary car. And it was released in 2019. And I think it has like the amazing blend of modern yet classic design. And you have the rear hinged uh, engine bay. And fun fact, the front, uh, nothing on the front actually comes off. There's no like uh, storage or luggage area. But this thing actually has a six speed manual. So that's really cool. Most hypercars don't have that. And I love manuals. Just absolutely amazing how cool this car is. But like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.